President Nelson, when you dedicated the priesthood restoration site on September 15th of 2015, you said that was the most important assignment you'd ever had. Why is that? I had received that assignment earlier in the year when President Packer was president of the quorum. And I told Wendy, this is going to be the most wonderful opportunity because we will commemorate the restoration of the priesthood of God. Heavenly messengers came to restore the priesthood. President uh, McKay once answered the question, how does your church differ from others? He answered with, the, with this answer, because we have priesthood authority. So for that reason, I felt like the chance to dedicate this site and this uh, restoration of the home uh, that Joseph Smith and Emma once lived in, that was going to be pretty important for us. Just look at the beauty of this house. It is, is a significant site in the restoration of the priesthood. Well, all that occurred here. Mm -hmm. They translated the Book of Mormon here. They went down to the river and received the uh, authority to baptize. John the Baptist was here. Peter, James, and John were here, restored the Melchizedek priesthood. And they had troubles. They had lost manuscript to deal with. They had uh, illness to deal with and adversarial relations in the family. It was a tough time for them. And yet there were a lot of miracles that also happened here. Exactly. When I think about the, the revelations that were received here, when I think about um, the miracles of the translation of the Book of Mormon, it is absolutely astounding. For instance, as you mentioned before, that the Book of Mormon was translated within 60 working days, and there was no editing, there was no cross-referencing, uh, there was no reading back of text to start again, and yet there were very few changes made to the manuscript. It was, it's almost impossible to conceive that anyone could write a 588-page book and print the first draft. Uh, it's interesting to look at a copy of the first edition. Uh, you go eight or nine pages in one paragraph. Uh, just a continuous flow of text as the uh, words were dictated by the prophet to his scribe, Oliver Cowdery. Fortunately for us, we have it in chapter verse form now. It's easier to study, but we have Orson Pratt to thank for that. He did that in 1879. Miracle after miracle. It is true that they, uh, Joseph would dictate and then they'd have an interruption and come back and he'd just pick up right where he was. Mm -hmm. Emma said, you couldn't even draft a letter, <laughs> but you could dictate this book. And she was amazed that he never had to have it read back to him mm -hmm. to make, make sure he, he was starting in the right place. Let me ask you a question, Sister Bingham. As president of the Relief Society, you know how women of the world feel and, and of their gratitude for the priesthood. One way I think you could measure the importance of that would be to ask, uh, what would your life be like, your life, Jean B. Bingham, if the priesthood had not been restored in 1829? My life would be immeasurably different, President. When I think about growing up in a home where my father held the priesthood, I had the blessings of being baptized and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost as a child. And as I grew older, I was able to uh, take uh, my temple covenants, make my temple covenants, and what a difference that's made in my life. Then when I was sealed to my husband in the temple, now I know because of that priesthood authority and power that I will be with him forever. And then my children who are born in the covenant, again, because of that priesthood authority, 
my life has been immeasurably changed. I can also tell you, I think about so many times in my life when I have had questions, when I've had challenges with personal relationships or with my callings. And because of that priesthood power that I received through my covenants, I've received revelation. I've received revelation on how to deal with, with challenges, how to go forward, how to repent. The priesthood has made all the difference in my life. Now you've answered my, your question. You asked me why restoration of priesthood was important. The answer is it makes life better for men and women and children. You are so right, President.